Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Game here. I hope you're all having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're going back at Lissandra trying to get all of those rewards done because at the end, if you complete them all, you get a golden reliquary. So I want to try to get another one of those as soon as possible. So we're going to be going with LeBlanc. Now up first, let's take a look at her star powers. Round start, create a fleeting, sharpened resolve in hand. It costs zero. So you see that right here, give an ally 3-2, a very good combat trick. Then we have the second star power, best second star power in the game, plus one starting mana. If you've leveled a champion this game, when allies attack, summon a attacking ephemeral LeBlanc. So we summon another LeBlanc that triggers all of her summon effects, which is why we're going with the Guardian Orb build. So we're running triple Guardian Orb, when I'm summoned, grant epic items to three random cards in your deck. So every time we summon a LeBlanc, that's going to happen three times. With going into the Lissandra adventure, we need some pretty broken combos in order to be able to overcome it, which is why we're going for the Guardian Orb build instead of just like a Strikes build or something like that. So not only are we going to summon LeBlanc when we summon her at like the start of the game or when we hit three mana, we're also going to be doing it every time we attack as long as she is leveled. And then also once she is leveled, we'll be doing it from the mirror images as well. So we're going to try to summon a whole bunch of LeBlancs, get some crazy items, and end the game. Now if you appreciate all the daily Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe. Also, I'm now streaming over at Twitch. There'll be a link to that down below in the description. I stream every Wednesday at 9am, but I've also been streaming the monthly challenges for the past couple days as well. So go click on that link and check it out if you're interested. But with that out of the way, let's get into it. All right, up first, support champion. We're going to want one that is easy to level. Nila, you've drawn 15 cards. Diego is strong, but I don't think that would really be that helpful. Formless Blade, dealing damage to a unit. I think we'll end up going here. We could potentially try a reroll, but I think this would be fine. At least it's very cheap and easy to play. Let's actually go ahead and look. So we have Lissandra and see she has the I am inevitable. I think this might be the worst one for her to possibly get because she's able to damage her own units a bunch and then just scale them out of control. So that is a little unfortunate. So round start, refill your spell mana. Haunted Hall, allies have hallowed. That's pretty good. Sorcery is pretty good as well. Let's brush up on what spells we have. So Formless Blade, Blade's Edge, Bloody Business. Also, LeBlanc is going to be able to make mirror images. Yeah, I think just having that extra mana will probably be pretty good. Although Haunting Hall is also pretty strong. All right, let's see what we can get here. We probably... Ooh, Doubling Dice is quite good on that. Yeah, we will grab that. And let's see if we can get something good for our LeBlanc. Ah, come on, I don't... Ah, using all the rerolls. Rally Banner. Okay, I guess that's fine. She'll be easy to kill at least. We're hoping to get, like, Rally Banner on LeBlanc. That would have been exactly what we wanted. So, a little disappointing there. All right, let's look at the three paths and what will be best for us. She Who Wanders, that one looks terrible. It That Stares, or the Dark Lore in... <laughs> I always... My dyslexia always screws it up. Drac Lorne Inquisitor. I think let's go for the top route. think would be best here. I do want to actually try to win if possible. So we have Heart of the Fluffet. Round start, the foe summons a random one cost Poro. If the foe has five or more units, they create a zero cost Heart of the Fluffet in hand. And then round start, if the foe has the attack token, they frostbite the player's strongest unit and summon a Rhyme Fang pack. That'll help them get closer to that five or more units to summon their Heart of the Fluffet. Also, the Poro Apocalypse, that's pretty adorable. Uh, yeah, let's go here. All right, let's get rid of the sentry. And I think we can actually hold on to the rest. We'll hold on to the Whispered Words just in case. All right, we do not have our champion. Not great. I have my orders. 
All right, so let's attack like this. Try to get rid of some of their units. Of course, they're not wanting to block. Uh, sure, we can get another strike off. Wouldn't be bad to try to save that for LeBlanc, but honestly, we don't know if we're going to get her. So we're trying to hit that reputation effect. Oh, there we go. There's our beautiful LeBlanc. Uh, yeah, we want to get her on the board so she can start seeing damage and leveling up. Alright, let's go ahead and use this here. How close is she? She needs five more. Let's try to use a whispered words. All right, so this is Scout. We march as one, an unstoppable force. All right, we're fine with that. We'll let this. No. There's a heart of the Fluffet. But that's fine. So we're gonna let this attack. They'll be able to kill it, but it will deal damage, leveling up our LeBlanc. Or they don't block it, that's fine too. I am everyone. To victory. Alright, so probably the probably kill. Well, I was gonna say our LeBlanc, but we have that awesome challenger. Alright, let's look at the epic items. Alright, this looks good. Let's drop another LeBlanc, just so we get those items to trigger again. Time. All right, so we'll drop this so we can rally. And I smile. Drop this here to try to get there. Being a bit weaker. Alright, so she can go here. They didn't attack with their heart of the fluffet. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, I guess. Alright, so they are out of mana. Show them the might of Noxus. We'll get our scout attack off to trigger another LeBlanc. We will summon another LeBlanc. We probably could just attack and end, but since this is the Lysandra adventure, we are trying to take this very seriously and not just expect to always win. Alright, let's get rid of that. We'll summon another LeBlanc. There shouldn't be any way they can survive this. GG. First challenge down. Uh, I think we'll go for the Black Rose Spy. The other ones are just going to be way too expensive. Yeah, we'll just grab this here. All right, item chest, get a Mana Gem, Pickaxe, Faded. Yeah, I think we'll go for the Faded here. We're not going to play the Whispered Words that often, but this, we can actually trigger the Faded pretty consistently, so that's actually not too bad. 
All right, Yeti Yearling, Secrets Hidden by Frost again, so the same thing we had last time. But now, when one of the foe's Yetis die, create an Enraged Yeti in the top three cards of the foe's deck. Grant the foe's Yetis everywhere 1-1 one, one, and reduce their costs by 1. Alright, so just a worse version of the already terrible Yeti Yearling. <laughs> Sounds good. This looks fine. We'll get rid of the Thrashing Snapper, I think, though. Hold on to the other two. Still do not have our LeBlanc. All right, not great. There we go. Wonderful. No one's the wiser. If they're out there, I'll spot them. Uh, sure. We can drop our Nila. Power is mine to command. In position. Behind you. Look out for Reavers. Could trigger the faded, but let's just go for some extra damage here. Alert the villain. Oh, it's always so dumb that they have Shadow Totem on that. Oh well. These biggest tombstones. So we're just going to try to get our LeBlanc on the board and buff her up as much as possible. Deal three to anything. Sure, let's start this off and see if we can get it chaining. All right, no extra copy, a little bit sad. Wasted effort. So we can let her be here. Make sure she she survives, Best and yep, this will level her up. Also, give us a rally. Even this is bliss. I whisper truth into lies. Need my words. All right, so they don't have any mana, so they can't do really anything to stop us right now. So LeBlanc still hasn't hit any. Pretty much none of these have gotten any. To see me. At least we're killing all of their units. It's time. We'll save this mirror image for next round. Ah, right, she got one good item. And this got a good item too. The world awaits. Forward. Right, let's try to buff her up. And they're not playing anything, so we'll just attack, and that should be game. Oh, they stole my card. Huh. Anyways, GG. Of course, they get to go again. Alright, Formless Blade, that sounds good. Yeah, more epic items, cheap, seems fine to me. Alright, so Wooly, Snail Moth, Snail Moth. So when they attack, their attacking units get 3-3. Also, they have a lot of free attacks, which is very frustrating. And all things grow cold, double the stats, and grant Fearsome to the first unit the foe plays each round. So they're just going to have massive units putting a lot of pressure on us. Alright, this is pretty much a perfect opening hand for us. Uh, sure, we can play this first. I play and I smile. Dance with me. Yeah, so we'll try to attack and just surprise them. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Did that on the wrong unit. Uh, that's... Not what I meant to do. Oh, well. Be careful where you're clicking. <laughs> no, 
that scout attack isn't great. Alright, eight. We'll be able to hit it. The thing they have that scout attack, which isn't great. Don't think there's really anything we can do. Are you certain? I mean, not entirely. We can kill it. Our LeBlanc will die, though. I don't think we want to take over 20 damage from both their attacks, so I think we have to sacrifice her. So yeah, we need to level up our Nila. Oh my word. All right, let's throw that out. Break the strong, slaughter the weak. Let's just keep casting those. Seems like Lock still did her part. I guess this won't summon anything when it's zero cost. This has Scout, which won't really help us that much. Power is mine to well, let's try to see what we actually can draw. All right, not bad. And water. All right, that seems fine. Alright, solid amount of damage down. We can potentially save the Blade's Edge for next round when it has one cost again, because then it will summon champions. Alright, that doesn't have Overwhelm, so that's not too bad. I think let's get rid of Annie and get another draw going. Really need to level up some of our champions. Let's get rid of their Overwhelm unit before it attacks. Looking grim. You gotta believe me! You dare! Alright, let's try to invoke. Can we get something that has... No, we cannot. I was hoping to get something with draw. Me something cool. All right, I think we'll just pass. Okay, there's our LeBlanc. Wonderful. The best lies are beautiful. I serve a nobler cause. So I don't think we'll be able to level her up necessarily. Actually, we might be able to. We'll stun these two, but if they do a Midnight Raid, then we can just have LeBlanc block and level up. Oh, well, of course, they do that. Well, that is frustrating. I guess the only one I can block is Neela. Is that all you have? And she's the closest to leveling up. <sighs> well, not great. Uh, sure, I guess we'll drop our house spider. Oh, there we go. Didn't really expect Zoe to be the one to level up. All right, now when we attack, we can actually get our LeBlancs on the board. I am everywhere. I am everyone. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think we'll save that for next round. So this one will die. We don't really have a way to kill it. All right, we'll just end the round and then attack. Well, that was messy, but GG. Well, so far we're getting through with taking almost no damage, which is amazing. I think we'll grab the Howling Gale just for that hero's horn. Remitter, Boctopus, Rekindler. I think let's go here, even though it's just a gold chest. And sure, that looks fine. 10 health. Yeah, we should be good. All right, power, Reunited, Craftsman Favor. I think we'll just go for the extra damage. All right, Draclorn, Inquisitor, with all things grow cold. Uh, this looks okay. Having our Nila should give us good odds of drawing Art LeBlanc. There we go. I slay horrors and I smile. All right, perfect. So we'll be able to get rid of this. She already got a good item. This will level her up. The black rose blooms once more. All right, perfect. So here, we're just gonna try to summon more LeBlancs and then just get ready for a massive attack. There. Not really wanting to do anything. None of these are too crazy. I guess let's go here. Can't lower her health anymore. But maybe GG. Yep, that's gonna be GG. <laughs> Still GG, nice. All right, bloody business, getting some more of this in our deck, pretty solid. So we could go for Mind Meld or we can go for a champion item chest. Mind Meld actually isn't bad, it lets us cut a lot of cards, but I think we just wanna go for the champion item chest. Yeah, so here, elusive or a bunch of extra power. That's actually pretty tough. I guess we'll go for the elusive just so we don't have to worry about getting blocked. All right, mirror mage. Yeah, I think let's just go here. So the foe summons a 08 mirror mage, which is pretty normal. But potentially it means they're going to get extra Rhyme Fang packs because it might be counted as a created card. I don't know. Let's test test it out. Uh, we'll get rid of both of those and one of the bloody businesses. We want to get both of our champions if possible. All right. Well, there's one of them. All right, let's just immediately open up with this. We want to be sure we can get our Something LeBlanc. Perfect. Look at your work, my lovely. See what you've become. <laughs> All right, they probably won't block this. But right, just trying to get some extra damage down. Boom. We got it first. Okay, nice. Joy unbounded. 
and everlasting. Okay, so it doesn't summon two Rhyme Thing packs. I see. But this is gonna summon like a bunch. Something to reflect upon. All right, there I'm killing her. Do we want to save her? Um, not necessarily, to be honest. I mean, we wanted her to die after we got LeBlanc on the board, but... Places to go. All right, so she can block here. And hit that there, which will kill it. And... This one also has Rally Banner. <laughs> I think we'll just go here, just to try to reduce down our damage. Yeah, that will be fine. The Black Rose blooms once more! All right, we'll save that mirror image for next round. We could play this for free, though. Let's see what we get. Sure, let's do some extra damage. Too bad. They'll probably try to kill her. Now eh, we'll just open with this. Discipline and steel. Uh, sure, that looks all right. And so we can just summon another one, which will have double stats again. That does a lot, oh my word. So we are going to have to deal with getting blocked out, but we do have Rally Banner, so we can just attack literally forever now. Until they run out of health. GG. It's time. Uh, LeBlanc with Poro Fluff. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it. We could play her round one, and all of those would still trigger. It would be harder to level her up, though. So I don't think I'm actually going to do it, because with her five attack, it makes her pretty easy to level up. So we'll just go for the pocket aces. All right, let's hit up the gold chest. Go for the shop, see if there's anything good here. Some of these are fine. Uh, yeah, that looks... I think I'll just buy all of these, to be honest, because we have the gold. More epic items, that's fine with me. And we'll leave these. Alright, Orn with I am inevitable. Alright, let's get rid of these two. The Thrashing Snapper will be decent to get rid of the units there they get at the start of the game. Hold it steady for me, like that. All right, no LeBlanc, not great. Bertha, Bertha, please tell us a story. The spirit of the mountain was working at his forge. Ever been to a blacksmith before? 
All right, let's drop our dust up diplomacy, get a couple epic items going. I guess, right, they have the I am inevitable. So that's going to be a bit of a pain. All right, so this one will be able to kill that. Let's try to attack like this and see what ones we can actually kill. Let me focus. So if we put this here, we can kill that one. And then if we put this here, we can kill that one, and because of the two spells, this will be able to kill that one. <laughs> Alright, perfect. That's the hard thing with the I am inevitable, you need to be sure you actually kill your targets. Otherwise, you really have a problem. That's not too bad. Although this is just filling up our hands with a ton of these. Uh, put this here. Buff them up. Try to give this an epic item, see what we get. Uh, elusive, that's not really going to help us. The Emperor's Guard is decent, though. At this point, we're just trying to draw enough that Nyla or Nila will level up. Oh, good, we have a little Blanc. Places to go, people to be. Are they gonna try to kill her? Yep, an equipped ally strikes. Is there a way we can get out of that? I don't think we'll be able to level her up beforehand. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can really do to stop that, unfortunately, which really sucks, obviously. Let's see what we can get for some epic items. All right, scout, that's not too bad. Let's try to get rid of that before it can become a problem. We really need our Neela to level up. You wanted the God of the Forge, you got him. I made this hammer. It was so good I named it Hammer. Well, that's not good. His blessing is life, his anger death. Because these two aren't really issues, it's that ram that is a problem. Because that one actually has overwhelm. The issue is I don't really want to shuffle any of more of these into our deck. So this one won't shuffle in. We don't want to damage them because it will just buff them up even more. 
We really just need our LeBlanc or Mila to level. Well, that could solve a problem. Okay. So they have an Orn, but it's definitely much less of an issue than it used to be. Uh, we could attack, but again, that wouldn't really do anything. Stand on your own two feet, and nothing shall move you. Yeah, if they just attack, we're kind of screwed. Just because we didn't... or haven't been able to play our LeBlanc. In your name, I have rekindled the heart blood. Let the name die, boy. It means nothing anymore. Azir watches over us all! All right, we need to try to get lucky. An exuberant flow. Hmm. All right, not great. I don't think there's really going to be anything we're going to be able to do to stop Orn's Ram. Here comes my molten friend. Your time is ended. Well, little disappointing, but that will be game. That is the one problem with this, is we really rely on our LeBlanc. Alright, let's go ahead and try that again, and hopefully be able to keep our LeBlanc on the board for more than like 10 seconds. Alright, we have our LeBlanc, wonderful. I think we can hold on to all of these. Just attack with this one. Well, honestly, we won't bother attacking. We don't want them to scale up more. Oshlesh's power is mine. Don't you dare interrupt me, Kim. I just love your stories about Orn, okay? Let the matriarch. All right, they are out of mana. That is perfect for us. All right, let's buff her up. Actually, we can put. Is that all you have? Come, test your might. Your strength is lacking. We could let her survive and not die this round. Come, test your might. But we could also let her die. Ready. Which would give us the attack token. Sure, that looks fine. This is strong enough to kill any of them. So yeah, we'll go like this. Clumsy work. Oh. 
All right, we'll end the round. We haven't got any crazy upgrades yet. But we can try to buff her up. Get another copy. We can go ahead and kill that, so... Hmm, looks like it still might go off. That's fine, though. My friends, let us revel. So this, with that scout attack, we'll be able to summon trick? another copy. So we can use this mirror image for free, summon another copy. And then we should have enough power to attack and end the game. My move. Just to be extra safe. Pretty sure we already have enough, but... I don't want to take any chances. GG. Ah, uh, this is all right. Making them discard a card. Honored Lord item chest. So this is rough. We could get an item for our LeBlanc that could really turn the tide and help us win even faster. But we don't have a revive, so I think I'm going to go to the healer just so we can get some extra health. All right, no revive, but we're at full health. Lissandra with I am inevitable. All right, let's get rid of this. I guess we can hold on to these. Well. They're good, but I just really want to make sure we get our LeBlancs. We're actually going to be a little bit more aggressive with our mulligan. Man, we've actually had pretty bad luck with drawing our champion. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. All right, I think we're gonna kill our own unit. We just really need to try to draw our champion. There we go. I think let's be the Black Rose spy. Let's drop that first. And yeah, we'll just end the round. Places to go, people to be. All right, any items? Now you see me. This is why she's so terrible with the I am inevitable. She drops this, which deals one damage to them, but every time it buffs them up by 2-2. Two, two. So it's pretty terrible. This wouldn't even kill them. I guess we'll drop this here to fizzle their attack. And yeah, let's drop our pocket aces. Want to miss this. If we get a little lucky, uh, if it went off multiple times, we maybe could have killed their Lissandra. Ah, well, reducing down the damage we're taking by a little bit. Glad we got that uh, heal. But yeah, this is why I think the I Am Inevitable is just the worst power for Lissandra to have. Alright, they're already at... 7. They have that in Tomb. 
let's drop our Neela. If they try to entomb us, we'll kill their Lissandra. Yeah, that's what we figured. I am everywhere. I am everyone. So we could attack. That would just buff them up. We would get a LeBlanc, but they're probably just going to attack and immediately kill us. Not a great situation. I feel like if we do nothing, though, it's not actually going to help us at all. that is really going to be able to help us. I th think we just have to go for our whispered words and hope we get something good. I mean, this will unfortunately just buff them up a little bit more. Yep. This is going to be game unfortunate. Don't duck on my account. Stand and fight. Oh well, GG. Alright, so unfortunate, not able to finish it off there, but that's kind of what happens when Lissandra gets I'm inevitable. It just makes her so much even more difficult than she already is. Also, kind of had some pretty bad luck with not drawing our LeBlanc there a couple times. Overall, though, I do think she's probably going to be one of the better champions. But I think with Lissandra at its difficulty level, even on some of the best champions, you still have to just get a little bit lucky in order to win. Hope you enjoyed that, though. If you did, definitely like and subscribe. And I hope you all have a great day.